what's up welcome back into the channel i am tori b your renegade driver so today i'm gonna be uh doing amazon flex 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 <laughs> um so i'm gonna be showing you guys a little in and out uh kind of how it works so uh yeah, just bear with me as I build on the material for this. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys in the app real quick. I usually don't pick blocks the same day. Um, and this is the difference between the Amazon Flex and the Uber app and maybe a couple other apps. Um, Amazon Flex works best when you're able to pick your blocks a day or two in advance um, because if you pick the same day of to pick your blocks um, there might not be any blocks available or it will be very limited um, so whatever works best for you I just noticed that when I check a day before there's a lot more options as far as the blocks I have so I'm gonna show you guys here So like on the screen that I'm looking at right now, um, is it has to Friday, which is today. There's a four hour block from 8.15 to 12.15. There's a, another one. I usually do five hour blocks, uh, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do the four hour block. Um, and then they, they have the offers for tomorrow, the seven offers for tomorrow. Uh, and you can schedule this like a job if you want like you can schedule a whole five days in advance You know, it's pretty much up to you uh, Oh, see I just refreshed and then the whole look there's 145 to 545 for hundred and two dollars um, The other thing I wanted to show too was the locations so what happens is you fill all of that stuff out as you're filling out the uh, application and stuff like that. Well, not the application, but when you're filling out your credentials within the uh, app, it'll uh, ask you like for the Amazon warehouses or zones that is in your area that uh, works with the flex drivers, um, it'll have you click the closest one to you. Uh, the closest one to me is 40 minutes away from me. So, um, I know that whenever I pick a block that I have to at least allocate that, that timing. Um, and Hazel Park seems to be the most dominant one in my area as far as the apps go. Um... Let's see, I'm gonna pick, it's seven right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the four hour block like I said I was gonna do. All right, so, let me show you guys that too, because my recorder stopped. Cause it only records a certain amount of time. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the block. I'm gonna pick the 815 to 12 uh, block for 8450. Um, and I go to Hazel Park one. Uh, that's like the only one I would they, they pick it, I guess in my area that's always frequent So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and swipe to schedule Now sometimes what happens when you do that is if somebody already took the block. It'll say that it'll say someone has already taken this block. All right Let me stop it real quick all right, and uh, one of the other cool things that I like about doing Amazon Flex is, mind you, I am using my personal vehicle. So sometimes, especially depending on the neighborhood you go to, well, not just neighborhood, anywhere. Um, sometimes when you pull up in your regular car and you're dropping off deliveries, I like to be very cautious because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about people who take people packages, and I would hate for someone to, to feel like I'm still in packages so when you go to the amazon location make sure you ask for a work vest and this one so they give so they have an option of two to choose from they usually have the uh the orange ones majority of the time 
um but then they have the um, the amazon flex ones and i'm gonna show you guys what that looked like right about now um so there is this orange one or there's the blue one all right so let's see now what usually happens is um the app will let you know like uh depending on the time you start i think within between 30 minutes of your of your block starting um it'll send you a message so since i'm 40 minutes away sometimes i'll leave a little bit early because if i re if i rely on the gps to tell me when to go um then i'll be late so i did have to figure out the address to the location that i go because um the app sometimes it, like if you fully rely on the app to uh navigate you you could possibly be late and when you're late they don't let you reschedule a block um and for every facility it's a bit different i'm going to show you guys how to check your schedule too so up there with a the three menu bar the, if you look at schedule um well usually it'll have like the calendar but i'm gonna go ahead and click start usually it'll have the calendar and it will show me what days and how many shifts i picked that day you can pick more than one shift um and so what i'm gonna do and this is how it works so this is the address at the very top i made sure that i wrote that down so that whenever just i wrote it down just so that if the app is not ready to navigate me then i can head that way myself to make sure that i'm not going to be late all right and this this here is considered your first stop in your orders um and so i'm gonna go ahead and click start travel so you click start travel and it'll automatically um start the navigation towards where you're going so come on ride along <laughs> everybody let's go no sir <laughs> i'm being goofy right now all right um yeah so this is the yeah yeah let's get it 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 all right all right so uh yeah, once I get to the location, the warehouse and everything, I'll show you guys what that looked like. When I first started, when I first started, the sun was out. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I have not had a relaxer in over five years. There's a lot of mist in the air. <laughs> the, 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 it look, it's gloomy. The, the, the air looks very watery is all I'm saying. It's not raining. The gloomy look like mist in the air. I can't see it, I can't feel it, but I'm just saying if my hair, my hair might be frizzy by the end of this, but I'ma push forward. <laughs> I'ma push forward. I'm telling y'all, my hair probably gonna it's gonna look puffy. Call me puff mommy. No sir. Oh my god, why am I being so crazy today? <laughs> This is the the warehouses where the uh, Amazon Flex pickup is. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. I don't see the logo on the building. But you'll start seeing the trucks and stuff. That sign right there towards the Amazon Flex. I'm a, I'm a bit early. Um, I really don't have to go in and pick up until 8.15. So while I'm out here, I'm going to just kind of probably set up my camera and stuff. Actually, I, I kind of want to show you guys the inside. So, But this is the drive-through.
for every location is different before the pandemic uh, there was an entrance where we used to be able to pull our cars in and actually pull our cars inside of the actual warehouse and then we would get our carts and then we would fill it up inside we used to have to turn our cars off so that the our gas is not filling the building um, but since the pandemic we have to load up outside now uh, the thing about that is so I have not done the pandemic I mean I have not done Amazon flex like during the winter yet any of the blocks that you choose your travel distance is included in that time so let's say for instance um like i said i usually do five hour blocks uh but let's say you get a cart that's not full whenever i get a cart that's not full that means i'm going pretty far i'm going anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour out um, and one thing I really like about the blocks is all the places you're going to be delivering to, they're all within minutes of each other. They're all like two or three minutes of each other. This is the reason why I have this right here. This is the little magnetic, um, and it comes with this, this little plate, this little metal plate on the back of my phone. And this is little metal plate the little sticky thing that was on it that came on it it ended up losing its grip because as you guys can see my heat and my air come out of here and so i was using the heater and um the little the little sticky that comes so i end up i end up super gluing it down anyway um but this so because of the fact that the and i usually stick it like this but um so like i said the deliveries they're usually two and five minutes apart from each other so this way i could just put it up here and take it down put it up here and take it down so i like this one this is where the big bulky one goes it goes on this little pallet right here but this is really convenient when i'm working i like that one. it's really convenient when i'm working it's a habit to put my phone to the side but so when you get in there you have to have uh, your license, and what you do is um, in the app. The app will prompt you when you can um, when you can go up there. So I'm gonna like right now. Let's see if I can show you guys. Uh, it says I've arrived, so I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and notify the app that I've arrived. And what happens is, so just like here, see, it's asking me to take a picture of myself. So take a photo. And that's just to make sure that it's me. Um, Uber, Uber app does that sometimes too. Like if I'm using my app and then I stop to go to the restroom, um, the app will say, you know, take a picture so that we can make sure this is you. Uh, so you have to verify your identification um, And then right here, so I could probably go check in I think I can go check in now So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and so to check in you have to scan your you have to scan your driver's license Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna scan my license to check in um, And then I'm gonna also try to show you guys in the app how the screen changes and it'll I'll, I'll, Y'all know how I do. <laughs> Let's see.